Good morning. This is Jeannie from Trendy Tree, and today I'm going to open a box and show you our new uh, Archon mount that we got to do our Facebook lives or YouTube streaming. One of the hardest things about doing a Facebook live or streaming to YouTube is getting your equipment set up. So one problem that we always run into is if we're using an iPhone, not being able to read the comments, uh, we sometimes use Amiibo and we sometimes just use a video camera. So this Archon mount is supposed to be good for holding an iPhone, uh, an iPad, or a Mevo. So I'm gonna open the box and get started. My husband is washing windows outside, so if you hear anything, you just have to look over that. Uh, he may come in and out. Uh, but the box came from Archon Resources. Uh, it was shipped, uh, I think, UPS. So we're just going to open the box. Carrie and I, uh, of course, Carrie's the owner of Trinity Tree, and that's my daughter, went to Reef Makers Live uh, about a couple of weeks ago. This was a new event for crafters, reef makers, and it was held in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, it was a great event, and it's going to be an annual thing. And anyway, one of the vendors was the Archon folks, and they had their... Uh, mount set up you know to show you so they said it was easy to do so we're just gonna see if it is so it's packed well uh, there's just some packing paper and here is something I think this is something that we paid extra for I'm not sure what that is but I think it is a remote to operate your iPhone I'll have to check on that uh, there's something in the box in an envelope it says Archon Mounts. Welcome to the Archon, Archon Mounts coupon code affiliate. So I suppose that if you wanted to be an affiliate for this product, you could do that and post those links on your blog and so forth. And then that um, it's just a little Archon Mount badge, I guess, that you could, if you were selling these at uh, an event or something, you could wear that little thing. Okay, and then here is the system. It's, it looks like this box is made just for this uh, product. So I'm just going to flip it over and take it out. Okay. It says, a remarkable creator's three-in-one bundle. We bought the entire system. I think you can buy this in different pieces. Uh, we bought the whole thing because uh, we wanted it to be able to do everything that we needed. And let's see. I can figure out how to get it out of the box without tearing up the box. So that's just a sleeve on the box. And that must be the bottom. I don't know. That's the bottom and top. Here we go. Okay. All right. So there's different pieces. It looks like it comes in several pieces uh, that you put together, I guess, based on which pieces, what you're going to film with, whether it be iPad or iPhone or Nevo. And let's see, here's some directions that tell you how to put it together. Okay, and then here's a box of something. Go ahead and open that up and see what it is. has on the front it looks like some different pieces um, small pieces and there's more instructions on oh it's the light it's a look a little sort of like a little diva light that you can hook on your phone I think that was something that we uh, 
I, I think everything that we bought was about 120 or 129 dollars. We bought the whole thing, and I think the little remote may have been 10 dollars extra. But I will have to look at the actual invoice to tell you that, to know for sure. So that's a little light that attaches, and then here is a another little <coughs> attachment. And it has a little Allen wrench. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll have to. <coughs> oh, and here's the. Looks like the stand. Gosh, that's heavy. It's a nice, heavy stand base. Just set that down right there. And here's more pieces. Ziploc bags. I like that. If you have to take it apart, you can put it back. So, some kind of an adapter to hold something. We're going to have to read these instructions to find out. Okay. All right, one of these is a phone holder, and one is a universal tablet holder. This one is not in a Ziploc bag, these pieces. Okay, so this is the universal tablet holder and some adapters, I guess, to make that fit. I don't know, it's a bunch of little pieces here probably based on the size of your iPad, I'm guessing. But I'm gonna put all these back in the Ziploc bag until I get ready to put it all together so I don't lose anything. Okay. All right and we'll just get the basic instructions out and put it together. Okay, step one, it says insert pole into base. Please note this is a tight fit and will require some force. This is your telescoping rod. It has a connector on this end and plane on this end. So it must go right down in there like that and it says we'll require, we'll require some force I don't know if I've got it all the way down or not it feels pretty good though all right and then it says take the Allen wrench and tighten on the side the Allen wrench was in one of the little Ziploc bags and if you don't know what an Allen wrench is, it's just a little, sort of a right angled little tool. It's just a little, and you, there's a little hole. And you put the Allen wrench in there and tighten it. says it looks like you put the short in or the crook the bent in I guess of the Allen wrench and tighten clockwise to secure. Okay. And you have to pull that out each time and reinsert it to tighten it more. Snip it out, set it in there again, stop there, okay, 
All right, then the next step is attach the overhead arm assembly by unscrewing the collar at the top of the pole until the metal ball side of the overhead arm assembly fits into the collar. Attach the overarm by unscrewing the collar at the top of the pole. Oh, here, this is the collar. This is what they're calling the collar and the tightening knob. This, whoops, you can't see it, can you? Okay, the next step is to attach the overhead arm assembly by unscrewing the collar at the top of the pole, and this is the collar at the top of the pole. You just unscrew that, it looks like it makes it wider, until the metal ball side of the overhead arm assembly fits into the collar. And that would be this ball. So, I'm gonna hold that and just keep unscrewing that till that collar opens up enough that that ball fits down in there. Well, I've unscrewed it completely. Okay. Okay, okay, I just needed to jiggle it a little bit at the bottom of it too. Now then, I can set the ball back in there and tighten that back up. I say I don't know how much to tighten it yet. Tighten the collar clockwise to secure. Okay, all right. Unscrew the tightening ring from the holder. Unscrew tightening ring from the holder. That's the tightening knob. Place the 17 millimeter end of the mount. I think this part is, is this part, but it, it's already attached. Ours came with, they're talking about this part, but that was already attached in the box. Okay, so that's it saying this part. Set to desired position and then tighten ring. So if you were gonna, I guess, insert your phone right there, then you would tighten this ring right here. So, right, you can loosen that and then move this all around. And then when you get it into position, you can tighten that back. Let me put my phone up there just to see how that looks. So if I put my phone in there like that, and I wanted it in that position, now I can just tighten that ring. This is the ring right there, okay? That's pretty tight, okay. Using two hands, insert the phone by pushing the device into one of the spring-loaded support arms. Expand the other support arm fully. Insert device until it lays flat against the blue rubber pad. Well, let me... Okay, that's the blue rubber pad. So it's saying, put your phone in there snugly. So it's in there. Shafts can be adjusted by unscrewing the shaft knobs to loosen and then retighten. So these are the knobs. Oops, there you go. Like, oh, that's great. If you wanted to film, you know, directly, you know, straight down, that's great. So you raise it up, put it in whatever position and tighten. And then here's a place also that you can, well, let's see what that is. Oh, there we go. Can move that different ways. Okay. All right.
So you could just move that in all sorts of different ways. Okay. All right, so we know that that will take care of our phone. Okay. I really like that being able to video straight down on top of something for crafting. That's exactly what you need. You need to be able to have your um, camera right over your phone. Okay, right over your whatever you're doing. Okay, for right now, we'll put it back up there like that. And, okay. So on the other page, it says adjust the height of the pole by loosening the adjustment collar counterclockwise. I is this? Uh, because I thought when we loosen that, it loosens. Right. Okay. Well, according to that, you can... Oh, here we go. Okay. So you can loosen it. You can raise this up and down. Okay, so it's, I'm going to keep it in the camera angle. I'm going to keep it down at this point. But that, this knob also will let you raise and lower, but it will also loosen this round, the swing arm. Okay. How to assemble the tablet holder. Okay. Okay. To attach the um, iPad holder, it says attach the holder by inserting the mount's dual T tabs into the dual T slots. Well, that's. Okay. So, this looks like that picture, and that looks like the slots, and then there's slots on the back of that thing, and it looks like the bolt goes on top, and it looks like Just these little square things line up, put the squares in there, and push up, I believe. There we go. So that is attached. And then it says, unscrew the mount's knob to loosen the grip. Place the mount around the pole. All right, so this is the knob, and I guess this is the grip. So loosen that. We're gonna. It's just opening that up, and put that around the pole, and retighten it. Okay. So now. Okay. Insert device by pushing down. Okay. According to this, it looks like that's turned that away. Okay. Insert the device by pushing down on the lower legs. Lower legs of the spring loaded. Push it down on the lower legs of the spring loaded holder. Okay, I don't have something on here. Well, yes I do. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the spring-loaded thing. But I don't have, I don't have these little tabs. Looks like there's a little tab that, ouch. Okay, there it is. I skipped a step. There you go. It says, select a combination of four support legs 
in conjunction to use with the spring-loaded holder, which is this, to achieve the perfect fit for your tablet. Okay, I didn't do that. Let's find those legs. I guess that's what this bag of several different legs are. Okay. Open those. And they're just, a, I'm going to get another bag to put these in. They're just different sizes. Like that's the largest. And this is the smallest. There's several in between. So since I'm using an iPad Pro, I'm going to start with the four largest. And I'm going to put these other ones back in the bag. Get them out of the way. And there's still, there's like one, two, three, there's four or five little grummets here. A little, looks like little rubber grummets, and I'm not quite sure what to do with those. Okay, select a combination of four support legs for you to use with this spring loaded. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say how to put the support legs, but they have a little slot. So, okay, it looks like they would just slide in there, perhaps. Maybe I should have done this before I, well, it did say do this before you put it on there. Okay, I just took it off so that I could slide that support leg in there a little easier. It just has a little slot there, and that just slides in there. Okay, and then I need one for the bottom. Okay, and now I can just put the device holder back on that, back on the rod. Okay, and then it says fit your iPad right in there. Okay, so I'm using an iPad Pro, and well, if I set it like that, it is too too big. It doesn't squeeze down anymore. Let me turn it that away. It's showing it like that. Of course, this, it would, ex okay, all right, well, maybe I should have done it like this. Extend that down. Looks like that would be the best way, though. All right, well, let's, let's just turn it that away and try that. Okay, all right, so I have an iPad Pro and I want it to sit that away. Well, you can see if I do it that away, I have about a half inch and it's not going to fit. Well, these tabs, there are different, this is about a two inch. So I need a shorter tab for the top, okay. So that's why they send you so many different ones. 
So we'll just use a shorter one. There we go. Of course, once you get this set up to fit your own device, then you won't have to be changing it so much. So now then, I can take this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Right. And then you can position that. Cool. Okay. So I didn't notice those different. I knew they were different sizes, but I didn't notice that. They were different lengths, and they have like a little rubber, rubber coating. Okay, I still don't know what these little, they're tiny little pieces. I think we'll just open that bag and see. Now, if I had my 10-year-old grandson down here, we could have probably done this a lot quicker. Okay. So there's a little instruction pad piece in that, and it says what these are. Use the included rubber stoppers to add an extra layer of protection to prevent the support legs from sliding out. Okay, I see. There's a. Uh, let's take the take the iPad back off. And where the little tab goes in, this is just a little rubber stopper to help keep your tab from coming out. Sorry. Hey, he's washing windows. I'm not going to complain. And it has just a little pointy in that goes in, looks like. Okay. Oops, I get that one in good. And it looks like there's an extra one in case you drop it, which I'm very likely to do. Okay, the next thing that came with this kit <clears throat> is a selfie ring light. Um, it says it has a beauty mode, battery inside, I don't know what CRI means, no red eye, and a USB charger. So let's open that and there's some instructions okay and it looks like it clips on must be a nice little bag to put it in and then there is a USB and a lightning port okay it says Oh, you have to charge it. Okay. So we have to charge it, and then you put the selfie ring, you just let it clip onto your phone. Of course, I guess you have to do it where it doesn't cover up your camera. But So all we have to do is plug it in and charge. So I have not done that. So I'll plug it in. And then there looks like some settings. I'll plug that in and let that charge. All right, the other thing is this extra little knob. I don't see any instructions for that. 
but it's um, it was also designed to use with a Mevo, so um, I'll just have to get my Mevo camera out. If you're not familiar with that, that's something that we've been using for Facebook Live also. It's just a, another different kind of little screw. Um, oh, I see. The ball head, you take off the cell phone holder, which I guess you just loosen this up enough and that takes your cell phone holder off. And this is just like a regular screw, like to screw at the bottom of your video camera or the bottom of your Mevo. And you just slide that round in there and retighten that. And make sure it's nice and secure. And then you can attach your Mevo to that. Let me get my Mevo. Adjust. You can like uh, zoom in on what you're showing. Now we always use the battery pack too, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put those together. Okay, and see, you see on the bottom of the Mevo, it has a screw uh, place. So, now, the practical thing to do would be attach that screw first. Attach that to the Mevo. Just screw it in there. And then, whoops, I unscrewed that off. I'm screwing these off too far. Just need to jiggle this a little bit and not, not unscrew it all the way. And then that round ball fits right in there. And then you tighten it back up. Okay, so. If you were going to use the Mevo, you're going to have to adjust these other arms to get in a different position. And I know I've got that a little tall. <clears throat> if you scoot it farther back, you can see my Mevo is here. So I may need to... <clears throat> I may need to lower this down some. There we go. Lower that. Oh, you just have to play with it. You just have to get your camera out here where you need it. And we want to make sure that that doesn't tip over. Okay, with the way that that Mevo way out there like that, and it may be that I don't need, I think you could probably loosen. I don't know that I need all these extensions this way if I was using my Mevo. Because when I do that, it gets a little top heavy. So I might need to use a counterweight to make sure that this is not going to tip over because I don't want my camera to fall. So probably what I would need to do is remove one or two of these extensions so that the camera wouldn't be so far out. And then that way it would be, well, here we go. Maybe it's like that. No? Okay. That's probably what I need to do is take some of these extensions out. Before I take any of these extensions out, the first thing I'm going to do is go back to this base and uh, reverse where I had tightened with that Allen wrench. And I'm going to make sure that I have the base all the way down, that I have this pole all the way down in the base. I'll get my husband to see. It may be that I didn't get it down there as far as it was supposed to go, so I'm going to try that first. Okay, I took it back off, and I measured the depth, and it looks like it needs to go in there about one and three-fourths inches. 
So then I put a little mark on the pole and now I'm going to try to set it in there again. I think I just didn't have it in there all the way and I can see that I don't. I don't know. I'm still a good half inch away from getting it in there. So <laughs> I'm going to get my husband to push this on down for me. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. So I put the post back on and I made sure they got it all the way down. And then I used the Allen wrench to tighten it up again. So what I did, since the Mebo with the battery pack is as heavy as it is, I shortened the distance to bring it back closer to the pole. All these pieces are adjustable. You can, these extensions, there's just little ball and ball end extensions, and you just open, open these up and you know, slip the ball in there and then tighten them back up. Now, you do have to be careful when you open these because if you open it up all the way, the screw and the washer comes out pretty easy, which that's okay. Uh, it's not a real problem, but if it falls and falls on the floor, it might be, you know, hard to find. But if you unscrew them all the way, you know, the screw will come out. Uh, but if it does, you just put it back in there, and put the washer on it, and then tighten it back up. But when you're unscrewing, you know, it will come apart. And then you just tighten it back up. So that's all I did to make the Mevo work. And then if I wanted the Mevo to point down, I can just loosen this. And if, if it's in the way of my iPad, I can, I can turn this around. And then I can, if I need my Mevo to shoot downward, I can just loosen that and no, that won't work. On the Mevo, you can't shoot. You can't shoot straight down like you can. Well, yes, you can. It would just have to stick straight out like that. If I wanted to work with a Mevo aimed straight down, you could do it like that. And that, see, that feels stable. That does not feel like it's going to tip over. So if you're going to use the Mevo with the battery pack, you would need to shorten the extension. Um, but just to use it, you know, every day with your um, phone or your, um, well, even your video camera. Your video camera might be as heavy as this Mevo. So I'm just going to put these pieces back together real quick. Just put those balls. It's just a sort of like putting Tinker Toys together. One thing just connects to the other. Before I tighten that, I need to get this one in there. Just kind of have to learn how much to tighten and when to stop. You want it just wide enough that that ball will fit in without undoing it all the way. Tighten it back. And then here was the one that holds my phone. Of course, in this way, you can keep this one together all the time. And I think that'll work on Mine is an iPhone 6, so I'm sure to work on another size phone. And then tighten that back. Okay. All right, and then we're ready to go. And like I say, we can just loosen this, and position it any way that we need to. And there we go. And put the iPad back in. Okay, <laughs> so I'm all ready. So I guess I need to go do a Facebook or YouTube live.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm Jeannie from Trinity Tree. Uh, Trinity Tree is our website, my daughter, uh, Carrie and David Martin's website, and they sell all sorts of wreath making supplies, ribbon, mesh, uh, wreath forms, and seasonal decorations. Hope you'll drop in to see us, and hope you'll follow us on YouTube. Thanks again. Bye-bye.